pins, pictures, and a promise. I don't know how, but <laughs> I'm going to be there. You know, my kids have a wheelchair, so, but I want to walk a little bit. Teresa Poraz and her daughter-in-law Grace went for a walk in the year 2000, each step leading to what would become a 25-year tradition. When they started giving out the pins, I was always anxious to go and get my pin. And then one time, my, one of my uh, ex-son-in-laws went to go pick up the packets for me. And I said, did you get my pen? He says, no, I didn't know. I said, I need my pen. Teresa, a two-time breast cancer survivor. For the last two and a half decades, she and Grace have completed the Heaven Can Wait 5K, a fundraiser supporting breast cancer patients and survivors. Heaven Can Wait was also a way that we could we could have a milestone to celebrate. She was a breast cancer survivor. Every year that we had her was a blessing. It was something to celebrate. This year, perhaps the most meaningful, as it not only marks the 25th anniversary for the walk. I love it. I look forward to it every year. But also, Teresa was recently diagnosed with stage 4 liver cancer. With this being Teresa's year, as far as participation that, you know, that we get to have her. Um, sorry. No, no worries. It just holds specially. Holds specially. Despite being in hospice care, Teresa is holding the same attitude she had when she was first diagnosed with cancer nearly 30 years ago. Never seeing herself as a victim and always looking forward to the next step wherever it may lead. I'm just very thankful that God gave me the opportunity for 28 more years to see something that I would have never thought I would have seen. I'm so thankful for that. My grandkids are grown, young men. My granddaughter grow. God has a purpose for all of us. So my journey is not done. So. We'll see how much longer. It's his will. It's all in his hands. For now, Teresa rests, saving her strength for what may be one last walk. In Bend, Colby Anabrad, Central Oregon Daily News.